Hello, Emmanuel. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Yeah. How are you? I'm doing very fine. Okay. Let me first congratulate you on your new award winning Thank you as a much. best student in level one. I hope you'll be a best student in level two <laughs> as you move on. We'll try our best. Okay. First of all, let me uh, ask you what do you do and uh, what are you into? Mm -hmm. Right now, I just finished my youth service, so I'm on the job search okay. market. How do you feel uh, to have gotten this award? Mm -hmm. I was very surprised because when I was preparing for the exam, I wasn't actually prepared to, to be the best person or just preparing to actually understand everything about what I was reading. So getting the award was actually a very big surprise to me. How can you, what can you say about uh, the syllabus structure and study parts while preparing for the exam? Mm. Well, I'm actually very impressed by the syllabus, the CI syllabus, because it covers a wide area of um, um, Various um, security analysis from the portfolio to the bond to the even the derivatives, which I'm sure is going to be helpful, even if it's not in the Nigerian market now. But I know in the future, when things like that come into play, we can all take advantage of it. So I think the syllabus is very okay. Um, the study packs are okay, but I still think that maybe some simpler um, simplifications can be attached to them to make it easier for some people to understand. All right. So, uh, why you get, how are you preparing for your level 2? When you get to level 2, uh, what are the things? Oh, I've seen the level 2 syllabus and it's like, it's going to be tougher than the level 1. So, I, when I, looking through it, I saw how big it is. So, I think I had to break it down. Maybe I do half of it for the first, um, first time, then do the other half and the second time to make it easier because of time, timing to prepare well. Because I can't just prepare um rush everything together i may not get anything at the end of the day i just have to split it so that i can understand exactly what i am learning from it yeah you just mentioned something about timing now now what would you advise somebody who wants to study who wants to write level one or say who wants to write level two um concerning timing it's very important i would feel it would be easier if the person is not in a hurry to get the certification but to get the knowledge the person can split it in two, take half of it, understand it well, prepare early. It's very important. You need to prepare early so that you can understand a lot of things before you get to the final. The final, they know that you just pack a lot of things like one month to the examination. Probably three months or four months will be okay to prepare for the exam. Because it's like preparing for like a normal school exam because this is basically similar. What are the challenges you faced while you were trying to prepare for the exam? When I was preparing for my exams, basic, the, the basic problem is had to do with the timing. And okay, if I had somebody who would have given me a lecture on it, seriously, I would have been very happy. Because maybe it would have been easier instead of trying to understand a whole lot of things myself. Or somebody, explanation, somebody else's explanation would have helped me scale through a lot of things very quickly then personal studies. Now, I will still go back to the timing issue. Okay. Now, what would you recommend for someone, uh, say per day, how many hours will you recommend for someone who wants to study or in total? How many hours will you recommend? Hours per day. Or in total, for you said three months. How many hours okay. will you recommend for um, that three months? Okay. Um, for you to cover the syllabus. If the person is working, yeah. I'll suggest the person just at least reads one hour for during the week, that's for, for the five days, at least one hour. So that he's like, he's building himself into that relationship with um, securities and investment analysis. He just has that feeling every day. Then probably during the weekends, the person can acquire like four, three, four hours of study during weekends. Since the person is going to be basically freer than during the weekdays. So three, four hours during the weekends, then at least one hour a day. And what was the first time of writing our exam. What was it? When was your first time of writing the exam? The exam that was in September 2012. September? 2012. Okay. And you were cool with it? You applied for how many courses? I applied for the old courses. I was actually shocked that I applied for the old courses because when I was reading I was like, will I get actually be prepared for everything when the time comes? So it was like a very big risk for me, applying for everything. So what happened after that? 
yeah, when I took the risk, I realized that I had done it, so I just have to prepare. All right. On your final notes, what would you advise people coming behind that wants to register for level one? Hmm. If you're registering for level one, and if you if you have enough time. You can register the old courses and read early because any preparation will make you prepared for every, everything you see in the examination. And also you can go through the past questions that is after you have covered everything for the level 1 exam. And if you are already level 2, it is more tougher than the level 1 so you have to prepare more. So if you don't have the timing, I suggest you just split it in half. Do half of it the first time then you can conclude the remaining half on a second diet. All right. Thanks for coming and thanks for giving us your time. Yeah, thank you very much.